Hi, I'm Will J, and this is Character Media. There's so much power in music. The ability to change culture and to shift people's mindsets through something that is just inherently beautiful. The art of making music is so beautiful. I was always around music. My mom loved baby Mozart. I just, from very, very young age, was just around music a lot. And then I started piano when I was five, so I was, you know, playing for Elise in the garage. And from there, it just kind of transformed into pretty much every aspect of music. You know, I wanted to sing, I wanted to dance, I wanted to perform anywhere I could. But the genesis of my love for music was definitely that garage and my uncle who taught me piano. You know what's actually been really fascinating for me is kind of around the time that I started doing my own music, I also started writing for other people and other projects and have somehow stumbled into, not all the time, but I do write a good amount for K-pop. It's been really interesting because that has opened my world to what's possible for myself. Because literally your main objective when you write K-pop is to make most times the craziest melodies you can possibly think of. And it's trickled into my stuff. Like I think a song like Lies for me, I never would have come up with that if I wasn't writing K-pop. Just because it also changes your perspective of what a song needs to be. And I really think that it's really strengthened in my brain that it doesn't really matter what your structure is as long as everything's memorable. That's the success. I think my genre of music truly has evolved a lot. When I first left IM5, I was so hyper-focused on doing something that was a complete 180 from what IM5's music was, which is, you know, like very down the middle pop R&B. And so I was kind of exploring like jazz influences and only live instrumentation. And I think what's really evolved even more so than the genre is my intention in creating it. I think so many people when you start in the teenage age and most of your fan base is young teenagers, you want to maintain this level of relatability. And I kind of grew out of that and realized that I'm never gonna make anything super, super compelling if I don't insert myself into it. I wrote I Can Only Write My Name actually after I had a conversation with my brother about just kind of the confusion of growing up mixed race in America. I think through that song, I was kind of able to realize that I'm not the only one that struggles with this. Just because I grew up in a predominantly white household does not diminish my experience and doesn't mean that I still can't connect with other Asian Americans. And it's definitely made me more proud of you know, where my mom comes from and as a result, where I come from. I finally think I ha have more of an understanding of what it means to be Asian American. I wrote Leading Man in 2017 at a time where Crazy Rich Asians wasn't a thing. And now we have Henry Golding, who is a literal movie star. We have Simu Liu, who's in Shang-Chi. Like, it's pretty wild to think of how different the times are. And it's interesting because I feel like, as a result, my main emotions for why I create music have shifted. It's less about trying to change things and, and being like fed up and it's more so, okay, how do I tell a story? You know, I think I Can Only Write My Name kind of came from a similar place as Leading Man in terms of how do I capture the Asian American experience in a compelling way. Then was it, was it even real? I think writing those three songs, Glory Days, Please Don't Get Any Older, wasn't even real. I was definitely on this very nostalgic kick. I kind of feel like time is speeding up. I'm looking around and I'm like not recognizing things and my parents are getting older and you know, I haven't talked to friends of mine for 10 years now. You know, it wasn't even real. It's like, I'm, yeah, I'm like looking at old photos of myself and it's like, I don't even recognize this person. It just feels like a different life. And it's the complicated emotions that really inspire me. The future's coming at me fast, young forever, never last. The art of making music is so beautiful. And when you're able to meld the two, you know, I think people don't want to be yelled at. They don't want to be talked at. But if you can write a song that perhaps opens their perspective, that's a powerful thing. And. It, it, it excites me, the thought of making thought-provoking music for the rest of my life, because I'm gonna continue living my life, I'm gonna continue having perspectives, always gonna have things in the world that I wish that I could change, and I think the best art is vulnerable, and I think that is how I can be vulnerable. Then was it even real? Memories are only echoes Of a time I didn't have to care 
If the story's all I have now Then why is it even real? That can be like in the background. <laughs> <laughs>